Just kidding. Oh, nice. nice. I'm glad they were rolling on that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Care Warner, Summon Entertainment. Steve? Got it. Who is Atlas? Uh, yeah, so my character is like the greatest magician in the world. He's like the best sleight of hand magician. It's like, uh, you know, he's a guy that at five years old realized he didn't have any friends and wasn't good at making them, so he stayed in his bedroom and eight hours a day worked on the same tricks. And now, 20 years later, he is like the best sleight of hand guy in the world, still same social life, and um, and is like really arrogant because he kind of has earned it. Yeah. Who, are the, who are the horsemen and, and why do they join forces? Uh, so the horsemen are four magicians who each have a different skill set. I'm a sleight of hand magician. Uh, Isla Fisher is an escape artist. Woody Harrelson is a mentalist and a uh, mind reader and hypnotist. And Dave Franco is a pickpocket. And so um, the four of us are recruited to join this group to um, pull off these bank heists, to steal money from like corrupt businessmen and distribute them to people who have been stolen from. And so uh, we each use our own specific skill set to pull off these incredible feats. Nice. Who would, what's, what's the audience payoff, do you think? Who should see it? Oh, um, I guess, you know, anybody with any kind of like sensory applications would like this movie because it appeals to um, really mainly two of them, sight and sound. Um, and, you know, I think people will like it because it, you know, when you watch the movie, you're kind of watching these things that seem impossible. Like in the first show that we do, we, we um, you know, rob a bank in Paris from a stage in Las Vegas, and it seems like it's this impossible thing. And yet in the next scene, uh, the FBI is trying to figure out how we did it, and they're kind of like uncovering the tricks of how we did it, and you realize like, oh, it's actually not only a possible thing to do, but it's like less complicated than I expected. So thriller, mystery, crime, all kinds of things rolling in one? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, those are all like, I guess, like movie genres, and I guess this movie kind of maybe transcends a lot of different movie genres because there's so much happening in it. But um, it's hard for me to like account for that. So like, the thing I like about it the most is like that the characters are all like uh, really unique, and my guy is like this really kind of um, fun, uh, you know, like mm, like fun guy to play because he's like, you know it's fun to play somebody who like thinks they're the best at something because it gives them like carte blanche to act like an awful person to everybody else in the room. Yeah. What for you was the, the most magical day on set? Um, uh, well, we, we had been filming a lot of like some of the more intimate scenes and then we got to perform this like first show in an arena and uh, the show is supposed to take place at like the um, MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas and we're performing for like thousands of people. And after doing a lot of scenes where it's just like two or three people talking and frankly a lot of movies that I've done where it's just two or three people talking, um, it was really thrilling to be able to perform for like a large group of people to wear like, you know, like a microphone and to get to like mm, utter like absurd little phrases that are part of the scene and have them be like uh, heard by an arena. Like as like a narcissist, it's like um, an amazing feeling. And as a self-hating person, it's also an amazing feeling because it like allows me to overcompensate for all that. Brilliantly stated. Um, what, why do you think Mr. Le Terrier was a, was a great choice for this one? Well, um, I was really, uh, I was really Im impressed that Louis wanted to hire like such amazing actors for a movie um, that has such an interesting storyline that probably could be interesting even without great actors because like it already has like such an interesting plot. And Louis is like an amazing director, um, very innovative, coming up with camera angles and shots and action sequences that are really special and unique. Um, and, uh, you know, it's the kind of thing that is enhanced by a great group of actors, but I think doesn't necessarily require it because it has so many other things going for it. So when I first met him and he told me who else he wanted to be in the movie, um, I was like so amazed. I said like, if you can get all those people, that would be amazing. And then like one by one, everybody signed on. And it was like just such a perfect experience because, um, you know, I felt like I was in a group of people that were all taking it really seriously. Yeah, so great. When can we see it? What's that? When can we see it? Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> I mean the release date. Oh, um, yeah, the movie comes out May 31st, 2013. And um, uh, yeah, I, my, um, 
Yeah, but anytime after that, you could watch it, I'm sure, like on a million different little video screens. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks Love so that. Much. Nice right. to see you again. Likewise. I think definitely. you only have a couple left. <laughs>